Rachel. Hi, I'm Dina. And in today's video, we're going to be conducting an experiment to test the respiratory rates of crickets. You will need the following materials in order to complete this lab. One fishbowl, two chambers, two absorbent cotton balls, two non-absorbent cotton balls, 15% potassium hydroxide solution, two crickets, two fake crickets, two rubber stoppers, power film paper, two pipettes, colored dye, paper clip, washers, tape, and a thermometer. The variables in this experiment include the independent variable, which is fake crickets versus real crickets, the dependent variable, which is the amount of oxygen used by the crickets, and your constants listed in the last clip, which are your materials, your water temperature should be room temperature about 23 degrees Celsius, the amount of cotton should be the same in each chamber, and the potassium hydroxide ch amount should be the same as well. Starting off this experiment, place the absorbent cotton balls into the bottom of the chambers. Now, taking the potassium hydroxide, you'll want to put equal amounts in each chamber, and that should be around 10 to 15 drops in each. Now you want to place the non-absorbent cotton balls on top of the absorbent cotton balls. When you are doing this, you want to make sure they're pushed all the way down and there's no excess potassium hydroxide on the sides. If there's potassium hydroxide, this can burn the crickets. The reason we have the CO2 collected is to make sure that the dye in the pipettes is not being moved up and down due to the oxygen intake and the CO2 releasing. Now you want to wrap the pipettes with parafilm. This is to create a seal between the rubber stopper and the pipette. When you put the parafilm on, you want to put it on an angle so that the bottom is thinner than the top in order to get into the rubber stopper's hole. Make sure you push in and twist it to keep make the seal. When doing this, make sure the tapered end is on the top, sticking out of the chambers. Now place the chambers in the water. Make sure you tape down the tops in order to keep them from moving. The washers are used to keep the chambers from floating in the water. Also, the reason why we put chambers under water is to keep the temperature constant. But don't worry, no crickets were harmed during the making of this video. The seal with the parafilm paper ensures that there's no water getting inside those chambers. Next, we put food dye at the tapered end of each pipette. Make sure to go slow with this so the dye doesn't spill out on the sides. It's important to make sure they're even on both pipettes. Now use a paper clip or a toothpick to push the dye down a little bit to get it started. We feel this is crucial to the experiment and we believe that this is why we had so much success. It's important to record the movement of the dye every five minutes for a total of 20 minutes. As you can see, the pipe pet on the right side has the crickets inside, which is moving towards the chambers. This concludes that the oxygen intake is being recorded. The reason for the chamber with the fake crickets is to account for any change in temperature. If the left pipette were to move, you would subtract that volume from the volume in the one with the real crickets. That concludes our experiment. Here's the data that we collected, and I hope you have fun trying this out for yourself. 